If you've been using Final Cut Pro for any length of time, you're probably familiar with the color corrector. And you're probably aware that you have these masks available. You can do color masks and, you know, mask out a region. And you also have shape masks that you can add to the scene. And they have a feather built in. You can feather out or feather in and resize this. If you drag the edges here, uh, it expands left and right. If you hold down the Option key and drag, you can do just one side or the other like that. When I added the shape mask, the color mask uh, went from Add to Intersect automatically. And then beyond that, you can add more shape masks. I'll add another one, add another shape mask. It went to the top of the list. It changed to Add. I can drag it down to the bottom. I can change it to Subtract or Intersect. And so I can subtract from the sky mask in a shape up here. And if we go into the color board to make this a little bit more extreme, uh, you can see what I'm talking about. And as the mass interact with each other, see right now I'm basically erasing this one with the new shape mask. And I mean, you can just make a very complex garbage mat if you want to use the term. And beyond that, there's more. All of these masks can be keyframed. So that I can go to the beginning here. I can set a keyframe on the shapes. Say a keyframe on the color. All of them. And I can move down here. And I can move this shape over here and turn it into an oval and I can move this shape down here and turn it into a square. The only thing you can't do is animate the mode. So let's do the border like that. And I can also change the basis of the color mask. So if I select on the building like that, let's see how this works. Now this is pretty low grade video, H.264, and so it's got a lot of JPEG artifacts when you start pushing the color real hard. So just deal with that real quick. And as I animate through this, you can see that all of these things can be animated. And you can do some spectacular effects with this. Now, going forward in time a little bit, uh, this has always been with the color board and the color correction effect. At some point, Apple snuck in these masks for almost any effect. So, with that in mind, I'm going to go into generators and get the clouds generator. I want to replace this guy with... Um, the clouds. And as an example, this new effect that I've developed, quick mask, you'll see that the only thing here is a, an option to apply the mask. Like I said, these are designed to make use of these uh, new masks that are available on just about every effect except the keyers or the other masks provided by Apple. And now when I apply mask, I want to get rid of that little lone cloud there. Drag this down to the bottom and it's gone. I don't need that much. I can go into the generator and 
for the video controls. I can position this up a little bit. And move these into place. Now the quick tools that are released. There's the quick mask, quick fill. There's a clone tool. And one of the features of the clone tool is that you can flip the original video image horizontally or vertically so that you can lay it into the region of the, the masked area. So if I turn the shape mask back on, uh, this is the normal video and I can just flip this region into it all at once. There's a gradient tool. This one here. Now what makes this convenient is that you can design your gradient easily right on the screen because the start and the end are here. You just fill in the colors for the gradient here. It's make it as complex as you want. Do that. And uh, I was in color burn. Uh, overlay is good sometimes. Etc. Since it's an effect, it also has the uh, masking here so that you could, if you want, just say mask out the sky. I'll go ahead and invert this. Okay, you get the point. There'll be a couple of other uh, effects in the group. One of them is going to be uh, Matte Magic and Spill Suppress if you need it. Help you with the edges. But the less you have to use that, the better off you'll be. And the other one will be Match Shadow.